Hi, in this video I'll show you how to install the Centrify LDAP proxy. The LDAP proxy and the NIST proxy are utilities that Centrify provides for scenarios in which you may have legacy systems, appliances, network attached devices, and even applications that need to consume AD information but can't uh, have the Centrify agent installed. So the proxy is basically flatten Active Directory or uh, basically provide an abstraction layer or a black box of act complexity in your Active Directory environment. Maybe you have uh, uh, you know, a one-way trust or uh, cross-forest trusts. Uh, we flatten the, the, you know, the information for those applications and provide the information that is relevant to your app. Uh, the proxies benefit from leveraging the AD client. So uh, they have to be installed in a centrified machine and that means that you can leverage you know, the performance uh, capabilities, high availability sites and services, and cache. So um, it's a very, very set of uh, unique, useful tools. So the installation is very simple. Um, I have an Ubuntu platform here, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna basically do a, a manual installation. So the package is, it, basically this is the LDAP proxy, and here you have the NIST proxy. Today we're going to install the LDAP proxy. So because this is just a you know Debian derivative, Centrify always provides the native uh, pa package installer. So we're going to do a D package installation. So it will be D package uh, minus I and then Centrify DC dash L and that's the that proxy. Once you have uh, well, I need to elevate of course because um, I'm as a Centrify user here. So I'm using Centrify Enhanced sudo. Right, so um, our proxy is installed as in, ter in terms of where things are, the executables are uh, under user, uh, it's a user share, Centrify DC, uh, libexec. This is where um, this is where the the binaries for uh, the LDAP proxy are. So if you and there, you will see that there's a slapd file, right? Um, the other uh, utilities are in under user share center DC bin. So if you're looking for something like uh, uh, maybe uh, LDAP search, they're under that directory, and the config files are under uh, Etsy, Centrify DC, that will be else Etsy, Centrify DC, and uh, Open LDAP, and this is where the mapping files are. So now that I've installed that, um, in my example, we're going to use it with a NetApp filer. So one of the things that I need to keep in mind is that in some instances, there's going to be uh, the request for the POSIX account user password. Uh, by default in the schema, we don't we don't we return nothing, and that could make, basically make an error. So we're going to go ahead and uh, edit, edit that file. So it will be um, let's go ahead and uh, and let's go ahead and we have in here the RFC. And basically, what we're going to do, we're going to add uh, a little line here. So let's just make a comment. And it's actually already in here. So the support for uh, the POSIX account is in here. So it's already added from a previous uh, installation. So that way it'll return something instead of nothing. And some of those apps are not going to crash on you. Um, so um, the next thing we need to do is to test it. Uh, I'm not, not going to run it as a service. I'm just going to go ahead and run it normally. Um, so let's go ahead and go where um, the executables are. And in here, I need to run this uh, elevated. So it would be uh, dz do dot forward slash and then slap. That's the daemon right here. One of the things I have to do is specify the config file. In this case, is going to be uh, uh, minus F, and it will be um, FC centrify DC open LDAP, 
and it's going to be uh, LDAP proxy. Um, and then um, I have to specify how does this computer respond to queries and I'm going to make it as um, its own host name so it will be minus H in this case is uh, LDAP column forward slash forward slash and then ubu one corp contoso.com so um, the next step would be to see if it's running uh, so let's go ahead and do um, ps minus ef and uh, grab for it slap b and here it is it's already running and uh, we could do a query so let's go back to the bin directory and uh, in the bin directory we're gonna go and uh, run the LDAP search uh, the LDAP search uh, utility let's see so let's do for slash LDAP search and minus X minus B and then we're gonna specify a base And I think I may actually have this in my history. All right, I think I do have a few here. So let's uh, search for our NetApp and see. So it would be 157. And there you go. Our LDAP uh, proxy is running. I just basically made a query for my the attributes of my NetApp filer. And that's it. This is how we set up, uh, configure, and test the LDAP uh, proxy. And in the next video, we're going to set it up with the uh, NetApp appliance. Uh, this video is uh, uh, multiple purposes. So you can use it if you want to use for setting up another application, maybe something like MongoDB or any other um, legacy system. Okay.